Hey guys, today we're looking at some things you'll want to consider when shopping for a charcoal grill. Let's take a look. Let's start with configuration. One option is freestanding. You'll find freestanding charcoal grills will either be a grill head on a cart or a grill on legs. Either way, a freestanding configuration offers mobility around the backyard, and some models are easily portable for wherever the road may take you. And then of course, there's built-in. Just like a built-in gas grill, built-in charcoal grills consist of a grill head inserted into a barbecue island cutout. This configuration gives charcoal purists the chance to stay true to their roots in an outdoor kitchen setting. Some people choose to build in both a charcoal grill and a gas grill for the best of both worlds. The next thing you'll want to consider is whether you want a standard charcoal grill or a Kamado grill. Standard charcoal grills exchange air at a higher rate than Kamados and are typically less insulated, meaning they use more fuel per cook and can be prone to bigger temperature swings. They're also typically constructed of stainless steel or less expensive painted metal. Kamado grills, on the other hand, are usually made out of thick ceramic or a thick layer of metal, giving this style of cooker superior insulation. Kamados are designed for decreased airflow, which adds to their fuel efficiency. A Kamado style grill can easily cruise at smoking temps for 10 plus hours without having to refuel. After you've decided on your style of charcoal grill, you'll want to think about grill size. When determining grill size, it's best to ask yourself, how many people will you grill for on a normal basis? What is the maximum number of people you'd need to grill for at once? And how often you want enough space to cook large cuts of meat like brisket or several racks of ribs at the same time? Remember that size is about more than just burger count. A wider charcoal grilling surface allows you to easily create dual zones for more versatile cooking. Small charcoal grills top out at 26 inches wide on the cooking grates. This makes them perfect for couples or smaller families, and they're especially useful as on-the-go grills for tailgates and camping trips. And then there's medium charcoal grills. With cooking grates that measure between 27 and 33 inches in width, this size makes it easy to consistently feed a large family. And then there's large charcoal grills. If you often find yourself cooking for big gatherings like game day parties or family reunions, then a large charcoal pit will probably serve you best. We're talking grilling surfaces that are at least 34 inches wide, allowing you to virtually use any setup or cooking technique you can dream of. Last up is grill class, which we created based on quality, performance, and features. Luxury is the highest class, and it's known for extreme longevity and lifetime warranties. These grills are built from either cast aluminum or 304 commercial grade stainless steel. This is the only class with split tier adjustable charcoal trays that give you more cooking versatility. Luxury charcoal grills are also packed with convenient features like electric charcoal starters and digital controls. One step down is the premium class, but most of these models are still made with all stainless steel or cast aluminum. These typically have adjustable height charcoal trays as a standard feature, resulting in more controlled cooking. Now the practical class is where you start to see mostly mixed materials in the construction, which means a little less longevity along with shorter warranties. This class is notable for a handful of models with unique cooking systems like the immersive and fun Argentinian gaucho grills. Something like the Weber Summit is an innovative and practical option as well. It comes with an integrated igniter and double-walled insulation for efficiency. Lastly, the economy class gets its name from the fact that the manufacturers are trying to meet low price points. Materials in this class are typically some type of painted steel or coated cast iron. These grills are constructed with thinner materials, so you may need to refuel more often and keep an eye out for temperature stability when cooking. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you in your search for the perfect charcoal grill. Cheers, everyone.